all about uh, sharing of knowledge, uh, recreating knowledge, and then uh, providing the venues for presenting uh, those uh, innovative uh, ideas uh, to the audience. And rather than playing horse race, doing nothing, no, they should be engaged in research. There's a lot of research in our country which is not done yet. You use the term tiny mount. Is tiny mount the same as research? Think about it. The Ukrainian scary and answer this later. But then to relay the information from our research because we went to the community level to conduct our research. So it was important that we come back and we give that information that we found out from the community to that community. Hello everyone, my name is Peter Nassame and I am a student member of the Health Management and Systems Development Department here at Divinewood University. In our communities today, we are often faced with many problems or issues. Some of these problems relate to health, poverty, women empowerment, disability, business, education, domestic violence, crime, and many others. Often, we struggle to find out the root of these problems and really find solutions to these problems faced by our people. While there are many ways to investigate and solve problems, academic research continues to provide a pathway for finding alternative solutions. Here at Emmanuel University, we have a strong research culture that is always improving and evolving. Through the university's 30-year strategic plan, there have been numerous initiatives to improve our research into issues faced by our communities. This video shows a project that was undertaken by Divinewood University's Health Management and Systems Development Department in partnership with the Papua New Guinea Australia Alumni Association. As we all know, research determines the future of academic programs and also the service programs, whatever it is. It is through research that we progress and mostly academics must take the leading role and as divided becoming a new university or has become a university already, we must be involved heavily in research to be an advisor to the government or to the industry of our research, what our country needs. It is true research that we should be for. Health Department, uh, sorry, Health Management Systems Development Department, uh, you know, a strategic plan. Uh, we have six uh, key uh, strategic goals, uh, strategic objective goals. And these uh, strategic objective goals, they are aligned to DW's, uh, uh, that's those six strategic goals. And one of those uh, strategic goals, uh, particularly strategic goals objective number two, uh, it talks about uh, intensive uh, research and uh, knowledge uh, generation. The project was aimed at undergraduate students in the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences here in Divinewood University to build inspiration and motivate students to carry out research work into health system in the country. The health Management System the Department uh, uh, took this project, uh, obviously there are two, I think two or three reasons for it. Uh, one is the, we saw that there, uh, there was a need for a seminar to be uh, hosted here at the University uh, that need uh, arise because uh, we have very few uh, options or opportunities for our uh, staff and students to engage in knowledge sharing and informing the, uh, the stakeholders about the issues that we need to uh, address in the health sector. So that's the reason why the department uh, took this initiative to uh, plan and uh, implement this research seminar. 
and we saw that uh, through this seminar we, we, we were able to uh, deliver the, the information to the wider audience and that's our contribution to Papua New Guinea through knowledge sharing and uh, knowledge uh, creation to address our health issues in the country. So the Health Management and Systems Development Department came up with this idea that the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences run a one-day seminar to help our students. The objective of the seminar would be for participants to one, recognize the role of quality research in improving health systems to achieve Health Vision 2050, and two, discuss research methodologies and research design with Papua New Guinea researchers who have conducted health systems research in the country.
research becomes a normal part of the life of the university. That it energized, is energized by our desire and our commitment to inquire, to be informed, and then to share the knowledge acquired in the common good. Then there will not be an exception engaged in by only a few who somehow make time for it. No. But a truly scholarly culture here at the New York. It cannot be tacked on to teaching and learning, but would be a prerequisite and the outcome of what happens in the classroom. That contemporary work is becoming more complex and multidimensional. Thus, contemporary scholar, academic scholar, or researcher need some expertise and some knowledge in both types of study. We cannot as a help with the traditional mistake in quantitative countries. We cannot keep staying there. We have to move to open to the complexity of the world and we have to develop expertise in qualitative part of study. And when it's suitable, we have to learn to mix them together where it gives a best answer to research research problems. So researchers in health sciences should be open to use its method when it's required by the problem and to the best answer research questions. Research design should apply a rigorous approach, including formal design, well, well planned analytic process, and not integrating those strands of that. Finally, mixed method might prove superior, increasing the integrity and applicability of findings and might also enhance the evidence in the evidence based medicine. And as I mentioned, um, these are some of the ways where we can be trying to um, monitor or either see the different interventions they are effective in reducing the area and hence contributing to the 2050 vision and the national health plan for the year 2022. So what we're going to do is almost align so we don't, we don't um, just do research for the sake of research, but that's the purpose that we're doing it. And it contributes the whole idea of um, reducing the area and uh, bettering the health of the kids.
change the mindset of the community, the parents, as to how they should uh, value their children or people with disabilities. I, and I'm very happy to come to the symposium. I, I, I can't explain it more, but like, yeah, I, I feel very uh, empowered. The key message to take away from this video is that research into health or health systems is one key strategy towards understanding and solving our problems in our communities. By doing research in health, we contribute to achieving national health goals such as the National Health Plan 2011 to 2020 and also supporting the realization of Health Vision 2050.